Nice racing. Today we are doing Club 100. It's round five and it's at Wilton Mill. And this is the pre B final. Ollie is on pole, so P1. So good qualifying. Um, we were a bit unfortunate actually. Probably could have just about made the back of the A final. In fact, you were in position for the back of the pre A final. But on the last lap someone pipped you and you didn't get a chance to do a final run because someone was having a car recovered which meant your lap was blocked but there you go it is what it is p1 in the pre b final a uh, very nice place to start we're just coming through the rolling start at the moment through the final uh, bend here and into the tram lines ready to make a start so just run into the start um, line so um, rough. and I'm not sure but I think the guy was just like a bit ahead of me yeah he was, he was about half a second ahead of you about two carts ahead in like but that was on the start maybe oh, you've had a, you've got to run on him straight away into Christmas corner no nope, not quite but very quickly caught up with him I'm putting on the pressure Oh, he's made a mistake and gone a bit wide. And we're still applying the pressure. Really good start to um, keep on him. Oh, you got a better exit there. I think I've got him here. That's it, P1 into the boot. Nice. So, got you got that position back within a lap at least. And actually, if you look at the at the digi board on the top there, 67, uh, he did get a penalty for that jump start. Um, the rest of this race is going to be a speedy time. I hope everyone likes speedy time, because when you're in P1, there's really not that much to uh, to show, really. Um, so yeah, we're going to be mostly focused on speedy time. Uh, so, Wilton Mill, uh, how was it? Um, it's good. This is the second time we've been to Wilton Mill for Club 100, actually. Um, you were also there not that long ago doing your ARCS licence, which we talked about in one of the other videos. Yeah, so, um, Wilton Mill was like, um, it's quite fast and there's like load of breaking points, like really fast corners. I would give you a, um, like track walk, but I can't because you're probably, like you won't, un it won't go through your brain by the time we've got past the corner. Yeah, it's going a bit too quick for a track guide. Plus we don't want to give away our secrets. So still in uh, P1 at the moment. We're just coming up to some back markers now, which is quite, um, I mean, you were literally just a class above. Uh, I think at this point, you were about five or six seconds ahead of um, second place. Um, you were just flying. And so it's, it's, I mean, in a short sort of 10 minute, 10 or 12 minute race, it's not usual to come across that many back markers, but I mean, maybe these had some problems. You can see the blue flags waving then, actually, he's just got out of the way. And back to speedy time. Um, this first race is going to go really quick. So, as has become fashion with Club 100, I have um, put all the races in one video. So, if you're watching this now, but you want to skip to one of the other races or one of the other heats or sessions then um, I'll leave the chapter markers in the in the uh, description so you can just click through and go and watch whichever whichever bit you want we just got another back marker coming up that's not the same guy is it no I don't think so I think there's a couple of people with similar helmets I'm not sure who that was but um, it wasn't the I don't think I don't think it was I could it could have been I, but I don't think so because he didn't finish that far down. So yeah, uh, maybe not. Okay, so we're going back into uh, speedy time. So yep, yeah, uh, if if you want to watch any of the other the other races, 
Ollie raced in at Wilton Mill, then um, obviously just click on the links. And if you're watching this video, of course, as has also become fashion with OS racing, please do remember to click that like button if you uh, if, if we always appreciate a comment as well and don't forget to subscribe so we slowed down this could be the last lap yeah last lap actually just finished so here's your race classification oliver sanderson well done your first win in club 100 that was a pre-b final so you now automatically go to the back of the pre-a final through repercharge harry knight gets second aurora joel third max lavelle fourth charlie walker was fifth he was the guy that jumped the start elliot dimelo six timmy shahini seven hendrix bennett eight jacob Schluck, Sh Sh uh, ninth and Tabitha Mella tenth. So this is um, pre A. Pre A. And if you didn't watch the pre B final, welcome to OS Racing. We're at Wilton Mill and it's round five for Club 100. So I just won my last one, so. Yep, so it's nice out. So we're, um, we started 19th because you won the pre-B final. We've had quite a good start. There's a lot going on here. I will warn, though, that, unfortunately, due to you having to very quickly get back in the cart and go back out again, we had a technical glitch, and I forgot to change the battery, so we didn't manage to record the whole race. But, yeah, just talking about the, uh, the pre-A final... Um, you had a car problem, right? Uh, yes. It was like getting... Like, it felt like the engine kept switching on and off. Yeah, so there's like a misfire. You could hear it going around. Um, I will say, I was going to go and tell Club 100 at the end of the, at the, end of the session, but when I, got to the, uh, when I got to the dummy grid, the pits, they'd already pulled the car in, actually. Um, so, fair play to them. That was really quick. They didn't mess around, they got the car in and uh, got it checked out. So that was sort of um, pre-A ruined, but at least I'm still in the A, it won't take me out. Exactly, exactly, it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it might have been nice to have made some moves. That was uh, Harry Knight just getting past you there, and you'll see the car, it's just not quite getting up to the, the right speeds and so the, the, the rest of the carts just drive off at this point. And so we're just, just into speedy time for the, for, for the rest of the race that I managed to capture. Yeah, a bit annoying that I forgot to change the battery, but as it, as it transpired, after this point, there wasn't actually much else to uh, to see in the race, really, because you were kind of stuck with the the fact that your car wasn't kind of quite working right. But that that said, you were still putting in fairly decent lap times, considering you had a car that was having a few problems. I think it was lacking a few mile an hour on the top speed, which will hurt you a lot at Wilton Mill, given there's quite a long section where you're flat out basically from here all the way back through to Christmas. Yeah, going down that straight, I was only getting 46. I could get about 50. Yeah. Never mind. That's, you know, it was uh, a bonus to be in the pre-A final and uh, your first pre-A final as well, actually. So we're just coming to the end. Um, here is the race classification. So Sugmani Kira got first. Uh, Jakub Mugzarski got second, Rory Hamilton third, Ilya Veliko fourth, uh, Rhys Cranston fifth, Wyatt McAllister sixth, uh, Daniel Wisniewska seventh, Harry Bell, our friend, got eighth, uh, Teddy Young ninth, Jacob Underhill tenth. Nolly did get 18th because James and Harry had a bit of a... I think James spun and Harry went into him. So you got picked up two positions just on the final lap, so not a bad result. Yep, so this is um, a final. So we're just trying to catch up because some of the people 
in front of me were like had some engine problems. So we're here now. So if you if you didn't see the uh, uh, the the pre beat or the pre air finals, welcome to OS Racing, and uh, the, we're at Wilton Mill for round five of Club One Hundred. So the lights have gone out. I haven't. I've had a decent start. It wasn't the best start. I well, you started 18, so you lost one position there at the start, but it's, I mean, you're still right there with the pack, so it's fine. It all gets a bit confusing here. So, Green Helmet goes off, not sure where he is. Have you overtaken him? No, because there he is. <laughs> and you just be noticing, wow, he went in there quick, but managed to keep it in. I don't know if he was using the cart on his left as a bit of a break there. So still in 19th at the moment, but he's had another little tap skid and picked up two positions to P2. The start of A was so messy, like, you were completely on the other side of the track. Um, the, yeah, the complete other side of the track where you actually want to be. And it's really annoying because some people are on the inside, some people are on the outside, some people are, like, bam, hitting and stuff. Okay, so a bit of speedy time. Uh, quick shout out, Noah Hobson is ahead of you there. He's our friend from Daytona. Uh, you've been racing with Noah since Bambinos. I've realised Bambinos is quite a weird word. And slow down, someone's gone off there. And yep, you've just picked up another position. That's P16. And back to speedy time. Yeah, um, when that guy spun, there was like loads of smoke. Yeah, a lot of dust kicked up. So I'm uh, following behind um, these two in front. I'm not catching, but... Not, um, not losing either. Yeah, that was uh, Ash it's the Ashby hairpin, right? Uh, where he yes. gone off. And the cut ahead just did, like he kind of clipped the dirt a little bit and um, that didn't help him. Well, we've got someone out. That's Harry Bell. Harry Bell has gone off and someone else, not sure if that if they had a collision or who it was, but Harry Bell and someone else has gone off. So you gain two positions, we're up to P14. Harry Bell and the other one probably like hit each other or something, or yeah. like they collided. Oh, someone's spun, that's pushed the other guy a bit wide, and he's then spun on the grass. You've managed to avoid the carnage. I P just about made it in the middle. Yeah, that was pretty impressive. P12. And back to speedy time. Yeah, I think I think Harry Bell got, um, I think he got clipped. His dad wasn't particularly uh, impressed with the, with the driving of the other, of the other driver, but you know, it is racing, it's a bit of an occupational hazard. There has been a lot of speedy time in, in this. Yeah, um, we're running in P12 now, behind Noah Hobson, who's still just kind of ahead in the distance. You can't see Noah's times here, but um, it's quite interesting. There was sort of three or four laps where you started gaining on him a little bit, actually. And then I think he started pulling out a few tenths. Um, towards the end as well. On this last race, I was really tired because I had like three races in a row. Oh yeah, pretty well. You had two in a row because you had the pre B and then the pre A straight away and then you had one gap before you went into the air final yeah i only had uh, like a 10 minute gap like as soon as i um sat down it was basically back out again <laughs> still we got more laps for our money hmm. which is one of the benefits of the repercharge charge system so it's the final lap yeah we slow it down we'll watch this final lap Really good lines going through there in turn two. 
about to hell into turn three, which is called Christmas. Won't be that long before it's Christmas. Have you made your list yet? Uh, no, I've got to um, get my birthday sorted before that. Yeah, true. Really nice for Ashby there. Look, it's only Christmas and Ashby I know the names of. Doing well through there, using up, getting right to that white line. It's actually a really nice, uh, quite a really nice lap, this uh, this final lap. Looks slow when you've been watching in speedy time for so long, though. I know. I was about to say, like, are we are we going, like, too slow? No, 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 it's just, it's, it's just your perception of speed. Okay, so, across the line, here's your race classification. Sukmani Kira again, win for the win, well done. Rory Hamilton takes second, Ilya Veleko third, Rhys Cranston fourth, Harrison Bishop gets fifth, Daniel Visniauskas gets sixth, seventh to Aidan Adams, eighth to Noah Hobson, ninth to Teddy Young, and Oli Sanderson gets tenth because there were a couple of penalties up ahead of him as well. So tenth, first time in the top ten, A final, well done, great result. Teddy Young like got a penalty and just went in the middle. Right, bye.